All right, here is my charger circuit based on the TL431 from before, but I'm going to have to use a lot higher voltage because I'm not just doing a few um, a few cells in series or a little NICAD battery pack. I'm having to take this up to charge that battery pack fully to 21 volts. First, I put a uh, base uh, resistor in the base of Q1. I increased the uh, Q2 resistor up to 2.2K. That was changed to 2.2K. And this was changed to 330 ohms from 150. I still left my constant current source. This is a symbol that I made for a constant current source. And I would adjust with these disconnected disconnect the uh, battery I would adjust R2 for 21 volts between test point 1 test point 2 disconnect power reconnect the uh, batteries and let it charge up until the little charge LED comes on in the case of this test point 2 went to ground and test point 1 went up here and it charged up just fine and it worked okay. But the problem is that you deal with lithium ion cells is charge balancing. They were very close and they would probably work for a while, but if you use this regularly, the charge vo the char differences in charge voltages as they charge up will begin to vary. So it's possible that one may take less uh, more time to charge up and you could overcharge one or two of the pairs that's why you're going to do load uh, charge balancing all right one last issue on the charging circuit is this resistor down here that was 33k before is now 10k to extend the range to a higher voltage we have 24 volts input of course if we look at our formula V out equals 1 R1 being the 100 K pot and 4.7 if you work through the uh, formula you'll f you have a range now of about 28.7 volts again this circuit had to be adjusted to about 21 volts to work with that particular battery pack. These are interesting that uh, these are inexpensive, very inexpensive. As you see down here in this illustration, this is an 18650. This one's good for uh, bypassing 2.5 amps. I bought them off of eBay. I think you can get them at a higher rating. I did not need that. And so what you do, observe polarity that's marked on it, is you would solder the ends across your each of your lithium ion cells. And it accomplishes it accomplishes the exact same thing I did with the circuit here. A lot easier to hook up though, isn't it? And here is my lithium ion cell where I actually soldered these um, little mini circuits across it. And at this point, once this is be, um, done with these little circuits, I don't need any of the circuits I used before. I can just connect the uh, uh, voltage source through a constant current source to reduce the current directly to it and it will charge up and this was tested and charged up to right at 21 volts which is what it should have been. 